So back in 2019, the Virginia General Assembly passed new legislation that authorized shared mobility devices in local jurisdictions. So back in 2019, we drafted a new ordinance that became effective January 1st, 2020, which would allow shared mobility device operators to come into Fairfax County and offer those devices such as e-scooters. Shared mobility devices can actually be found anywhere in Fairfax County. Our ordinance does not require them to be located at any particular location. However, we do encourage the operators to equitably distribute them across the county. However, I will say given this option, we do find this to be most likely a last mile transit option for people. So at the beginning, you might see these devices at metro stations, bus stations, retail and shopping areas in the hopes that the public that need them might be coming off a metro trip and then they can get on one of these devices for that last mile or two to their final destination. So some great safety tips that we're trying to communicate to the public would be number one, wear a helmet. Fairfax County does not have the ability to regulate the requirement for a helmet. I will say that the majority of the operators do have a helmet requirement in their consent agreement when you're renting their device. And then the other thing is these shared mobility devices can be operated in a variety of places. In Fairfax County, they can be on highways with under 25 mile per hour speed limits, shared use paths, sidewalks, so again, you wanna be mindful if you're a rider of vehicular traffic around you, pedestrian traffic around you, and just make sure that you're sharing those spaces appropriately. And then lastly, these devices will have a cap speed limit of 10 miles per hour. So again, when you're operating those, you wanna be mindful of the speed limit and mindful of your surroundings when you're operating your shared mobility device. Abandoned scooters, that's a concern for everyone and our office too. So obviously, first thing that you can do if you see one abandoned, especially if it's in the pathway for vehiculars or pedestrian traffic, try to move that out of the way. Each of these devices will have the operator's information located directly on that device. So you could right away contact the operator on the device. It also has a device number on that. Provide that device number, provide the location of the device to the operator in hopes that they'll come collect that device. You can also contact our office um, and we can work with the operator if you provide that information to us so that we can come back and make sure that those scooters are picked up if they're abandoned or if they're left in an area where they're blocking vehicular or pedestrian traffic. For more information on shared mobility devices, you can visit the county website. It has a lot of information, has some frequently asked questions on there, it has the names of the providers that currently hold permits. So then you could even go visit those providers' websites because they even have some dedicated Fairfax County resources and pages set up as well for additional information on their specific devices.